I have always had a love for the outdoors. At three years old, my dad took me hunting, and this is when my passion was born. From that point on, I dreamt of owning my own piece of remote land. Land where I could walk for hours and not bump into signs of civilization. Land where I could harvest my own meals. Where I could build an off-grid lodge. Where I could submerse myself within the wilderness. Last year, this became a reality. I purchased 80 acres together with my dad and cousin. These 80 acres are surrounded by 500 acres of forest management lands, simply meaning we're in the middle of the woods. I invite you to join us while we build out our off-grid lodge. Twenty years ago, the original owner of the land had a trailer home for lodging. We lived in this trailer for the last five years when we came up. To put things into perspective, he bought this unit for $500 in 2001. At this point, as much as we tried, this unit was unlivable and needed to go. But how are we going to replace it? With lumber prices out of control and campers difficult to get, we had to get creative. Eventually, we stumbled upon a portable buildings company that was selling a shed with a deck. We knew this was our starting point. The next task was to demolish the trailer and plan the site for the new lodge. We planned on drilling a well, and as per code, we must have a septic if there is pressurized water. Finally, we poured a slab of cement. Everything was ready for the lodge to arrive. On August 30th, 2021, our lodge arrived. After ample hours of hauling it through one mile of woods, getting hung up on trees and stuck one or two times, we eventually decided to drive it in with the mule. After the commotion, we got it set on the slab. The first task was to hang our sign, Sugar Tree Lodge. We chose this name due to the abundance of sugar maples on our northern 40. We spent our first sleep at the lodge. In the morning, we wheeled in some propane so we could get fueled with almond flour waffles and maple syrup that was just harvested right outside the door. Then we had our morning huddle to discuss the day's plans. Today we need to do all the electricity and decide where it is, but we're going to have the lavatory in the back corner. Okay. The bathroom will be back there, and we'll have a bedroom, small bedroom to the left. We got fireplace here, propane heater. We're gonna put a new window in over this window. Big one. So cut it from here over. And then we're thinking TV is gonna hang from the ceiling, right? Or from yeah, that angle right there. there. Right up in here and then come down. Somewhere not by this. Hopefully not to get melted by the fireplace. And then we've got patio here. door. Probably slide that window over here. And then move the window to right there. Where this, we'll have the table. We'll keep the living room ish right here. Put one chair over by the boudoir wall. 
couple chairs or a love seat, whatever you want to call it right here. Kitchen table. And then and obviously our kitchen itself. We had in this corner will be wide open. That space over there. In front of the bathroom. Yep. And then we've got the second loft up here, D sleeping quarters. And the kitchen. Front door, kitchen. It's as simple as that. With a fan up on the ceiling. Yep. Yeah, we've got our funky lights. So today, what are we gonna do? Wiring so we can insulate. We have all the insulation already, so we have to get run all the wire. Wire and plumbing. At current time, the only viable electric source for us is a gas generator. The goal of our build is simplicity and cost efficiency. Close to all of the materials that we are using in this episode are recyclables from a past project. We're trying to bring electrical from the box to the front underneath the lodge. Are we bringing it to this box? Yes. Or all the nails you're talking yes. about? Yes. So you're bringing, are you bringing this one around? Okay. This one. And it's just amazing how short these long ones end up being. Yeah. This one does the fan and the kitchen light. No. Well, no. this one will just do the fan. Just do the fan. we got to do another. We're gonna, well, we're saving for this box, box here. This yes, box. Then, this, then we'll come up. So we need to get power to it. And the whole thing is there's three nails here. It's not helpful. That's where we want to go to bring the power up from underneath. Right. So, and the problem is drilling a hole through this is a pain in the butt because there's no room for the drill. Yeah, the drill. Mm -hmm. So you got to get an angle and do it because there's only one nail there and that's what we want to do. So we're going to try to go through that side. We have to we have to see if we can get two through those holes otherwise you got to make those holes wider. So what are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Junction box potentially here because then I can run the electrical for up here too. Good work. There's our power then on this end. We're gonna have to do it on the fourth thing. Right there. Oh, that's good, yeah, anywhere. Give it a shot. Hang on. Yep, keep moving. We got it. Think that can fit another? Okay. I'm gonna hold it up there. Okay, you're tugging me. Yep. Hey, hang on too much. Yep, right, right here. Yeah, right there. Yep, keep going, I see it. All right, that's good. Plenty. I'll try. Let me pull this one back. 
Yep. Not big enough. Bigger. We got to widen it up. Huh? Make it bigger. Yep. There we go. One's gonna be tight awful fast. So pull it. So what do you need? This one is tight, so you can't move this one any farther. Okay. You gotta, this one, you gotta pull up. What do we got going on? We're gonna wire the cords we just did, so we're about to shut the power off. And we will wire it. Plug the, the nervous off. system into the brain. That's exactly right. Go out and unplug the generator. Cousin Blake's just taking his 10 minute break there. the one that doesn't have a lot of slack. Yeah. Why would it be down there? I guess. All right, time to do insulation. After insulating the back wall, we finished all of the wiring by the door, followed by insulating the east wall. Next up was to install the fan. All right, so what did we get done with today? Some insulation, a bunch of wiring. <clears throat> it still isn't right, but... And what happened with the wiring? At the main box, there's an issue, but uh, otherwise it's got a lot, of, a lot of the wiring and boxes and those sorts of things in and a bunch of insulation. Up. Bunch of insulation, stuff. got some wiring done, got the fan put up there. Right now I'm wearing the rain jacket because we're out grilling and it just started downpouring. So, get that taken care of. 
and we'll check back in in the morning. Day three of the build. Yep, so yesterday we finished with a bunch of the insulation. We did electrical, we still have an issue we have to take care of on that. We're not getting power to the front. Um, and today, what do we plan on doing today? Eating my delicious breakfast to start the day, maybe bye. Let's start the waffles, right. and then we have to insulate more of finish the up unit wiring. Here. We should be able to do uh, finish up the wiring and fix some of the wiring. And I think we're going to try to insulate much of the roof that we won't have any concerns with for wiring or any other thing. It looks difficult right off the bat, but we'll see how it goes. Perfect. And we'll maybe some of the, the wood burner because we're finding that it's getting cold fast, so we better put that in. But yep. we got our box propane of, one uh, sucks propane. through the wall stuff uh, in the trailer, surrounded by all the insulation we had. So that was the uh, issue. We had to get that out before we get the uh, wood burner connector on. Yep. We'll check back in later. Okay, so now we're going to be working on the kitchen here. We're going to get the electrical done, the insulation in. We're going to move the range top over to this side here. So we need to pull out this. Our temporary shelf. Yep, our, our temporary shelf. We need to move that. And what else needs to occur here, yeah, Dean? We're just going to move it over here so it's like we'd have the sink. So we'll have a good idea of how that So we're just, we're just going to shift it over yep. for now? Okay. And then uh, boy, our stuff. Um, adjust the outlets that we had thought we needed in different places. We'll put them now in the right spot. All so. right, let's get to her. All right. Get the stove pushed over. Yep. We gotta sweep that up. But we gotta put the uh, outlet in right. Oh, that's right. So that'll be a little while here. We're gonna pull this up and put a junction box up here so that the power to the other ones that go through the hole here, and then we'll just bring the right size wire down. We're in. What, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the power from here. We're gonna bring it through. We're gonna create a junction right here. One down to this outlet. Then another line over to here, down to this outlet. Right? Yep. Then what are we doing to bring the power further? We're gonna do yep. another junction. Cross. Huh? Yeah, we'll do a junction next. Another yeah. junction right up in here to bring the power down to these areas? Yep. Okay. For the fridge, we gotta raise that one up. For the fridge or for, for just outlet. the wall? Just the wall. Uh, for the, just another outlet. Well, is that where we're gonna plug the chandelier in from here? We haven't thought about that yet. Well, we're doing electricity, we gotta yeah. think about that. We gotta wire that one. The chandelier. We'll probably use the power and figure out where it is from here and then put a switch in from that power source. Okay. To the, uh, yeah. All right, so to summarize what we did this weekend, before I got here, D and Blake moved stuff in. They got the lofts ready. Uh, what else you guys work on? You got some of the fan stuff prepped, the electrical box put in, hooked the generator up, did plenty of stuff. Then when I got here, which was when we started working with Saturday morning, uh, we started with the electrical. We yep. finished all the electrical today, all the wiring for the most part. For most of it. Yeah. Most of it. Then we got essentially most of the insulation put in as well. Um, besides the ceiling. So yep, besides the ceiling, we got the fan put in, which was a journey of its own. We got the sign and then, up. yeah, we got the sign up. That was important. And then we have the, uh, the kitchen essentially planned out and organized. So obviously we still have to do the ceiling with insulation. Next up, we have to poly all the insulation in, get the oven, the stove hooked up correctly. 
Um, what else is up next, D? Well, the snow is the most important thing. Cause right, because it's, it's September already. and it's freezing it's up here. And we got windows and a patio to put in at some point. Yep, so we have the window over there. And then we have outside We've got stuff. patio we got over here. Up. we got to hook the deck up. we got to put some railing up. And yep, railing, railing so we don't and, fall uh, off. And stairs up to the... Yeah, and no, stairs. Like so there's... Yeah. There's still a lot of stuff to go on in the acute phase of uh, of working it's on the good, house here. Good two days. It, it's a great two days three here. Days. Two days of each of you. Yep. Yep. So essentially three days because Dee's gonna. I'm I'm heading out tonight on Sunday. Dee's gonna stay here until Monday. Get some other stuff done around here. But other than that, I I'm happy with what we got done with and. Uh, Stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the background story as well as the beginning to our build. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications to hang with us as we continue our build to Sugar Tree Lodge.